Hey guys, it's Tanya with Scraptastic Creations. Today I'm going to create a two-page layout featuring Close to My Heart's exclusive paper collection, Gnomes for Autumn. If you love gnomes, you're going to love this paper pack. If you don't, you're still going to love this paper pack because it's super versatile. Let me show you how. First, I want to let you know that this paper packet is available only from August 1st to September 30th or while supplies last. So don't wait because it will sell out. Um, I love their sticker sheets. The sticker sheets by Close to My Heart are a high quality cardstock. So they make perfect for embellishments. Look at this tag. This is so cute. I'm hoping the camera is picking that up. But I love all these words and this banner and you got cute little journaling spots. This is super fun. And I know you might not want to be thinking of sweater weather right now at the end of July, but we do have to prepare. And like I said, stuff sells out. So let me show you this paper. So you get this fun little gnome print with all the sweaters and the pumpkins and the sunflowers. I love those sunflowers. But all their paper is two-sided, so you get two of each sheet, and the back side is a different pattern. So you have no gnomes on this one. You just have these cute little critters. Look at the little squirrel. And you got those sunflowers again. I love them. This is probably my favorite Brandon strip. And actually, I might like the sunflower one a little better. But So they all feature Brandon strip or a zip strip. And the back of these are on the, on the back side of the zip strips have the featured colors so acorn espresso honey butter limeade pumpkin scarlet and white daisy so there's no guessing these are the colors in the paper pack and then you've got these fun other prints this one has bushels scenic drive grateful I love this like little word search thing. You know, caramel apples, this soup Thanksgiving. This is super fun. And this print, so you have your stripe, but this print, oh, how pretty is that? I just love how they made this paper. So I don't know, this one might be my favorite zip strip. And then you've got this nice plaid print. So let me show you what I'm gonna do with this paper pack. I'm bringing in two Versa mats since I'm doing a two page layout and I'm going to bring in white daisy cardstock for my base. I cut some strips at two and six inches. So I want to lay those out at about one and three fourths of an inch up. So I'm kind of trying to plan this in my head. I'm not planning to keep my background 12 by 12. I'm going to cut this, these white sheets down to 11 by 11, and I'm going to have another piece of cardstock in the background, but I haven't decided what color yet. So since I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to lose a half of an inch, and I just want to bring this in a little bit because I'm going to leave probably about an eighth of an inch in between each strip. So I just want to kind of lay these out here. This paper is just so perfect. Um, this is a honey butter card stock. So I went ahead and cut that. I love this pumpkin color. It's really pretty. And then um, here's another new color, Limeade. And I'm going to go ahead and use the darker side of that. And I believe this is the lighter side. Yes, the lighter side of honey butter. And then I'll just kind of lay these out while well, they're kind of going downhill here, but I'll kind of lay these out like this. Let me show you the photos that I'm going to use. So I just love these photos. The I, these, I couldn't have picked a a better background or a better paper and I didn't plan these because these photos were taken in 2014 and I already had them printed and I just I thought oh finally I have a chance to scrapbook them with the perfect paper so I just love these Jonas was only three years old here and he's literally getting ready to turn 12 in two weeks I can hardly believe it um, my daughter just turned 26 and she is only 17 in these photos. So I wasn't sure which one of these I had, I already had them printed and this one's a five by seven and this is a four by six. So, um, I just thought I'd kind of play with that to see which one and I can always cut down too. So, which is what I plan on doing. Um, this is my thought process right here. So I think that I would like to put these photos 
kind of like this and I definitely have no choice but to cut these down because I'm wanting these like up over here. Okay, so I'm probably gonna cut them down to maybe three and a half by five. We'll see about that. And then these photos here, which how cute are they? Um, look at my darling son, <laughs> so cute. So I'm, I wanna put these ones like kind of like here. And then I'm thinking that I want, so these are gonna be smaller. My main, this is gonna be like my, my main photo because it's all of them. I wanna put it like down here. And so I'm not sure if I will be able to use this size or this size. So I kinda gotta cut these other ones down to see how they go. And even if I use this one, I can cut this one down to a four by six and I would get a little bit of a bigger image of them. So I'm not gonna cut my white down yet because I might go ahead and just leave it. Um, I do wanna switch these out because I don't like the stripe on um, the end on both sides. I kinda wanted to have a mixture there. And I'm gonna bring in my T-square ruler and I'm gonna line it up at um, three-fourths of an inch. And then I want to bring these in about three-fourths of an inch. And then I'm going to have an eighth of an inch in between each one. I'm gonna use this and glue these down because it's gonna be a lot easier to work if these are glued down. So I'll have three-fourths of an inch on both sides and an eighth of an inch in the middle. So I do wanna go ahead and do that. And then I'm also going to bring in a couple of stamp sets. So I wanna bring in these two stamp sets. This one is the Cozy Up Card Making Workshop. And I wanna use this wreath and these leaves. So I'm gonna do that. And they do have a uh, coordinating thin cut, so I'm gonna do that. Um, this I'm gonna cut in the brand new color Acorn. And then I'm gonna bring in the Cozy Up card making. I love these pumpkins, so I wanna bring them in. And they have a coordinating thin cut as well. So let me show you. I went ahead and cut those out already. And I cut them, I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, I did go ahead and cut this in that acorn and I used the dark side. I'm gonna bring this up here near that my, my photo, if you remember my photo. but. I went ahead and cut those out and those are what I'm gonna back my photo with. So I'm gonna back all of my photos in the white since these were already pre-printed. Um, when I print them at home, I print my photos, usually have the white border around, but since these were already printed, um, I've just gone ahead and mapped them myself and then I'm gonna bring in some espresso cardstock and so these will be double matted double matted and I'm going to put this about here. So I did go ahead and decide to use the four by six. So I'm going to bring that in. And I, so I just, I just kind of want to show you that you're not going to see that. So it doesn't matter. Go ahead and use your, um, use the back of these because you won't see them for your, all your pieces that you are going to cut out and um, I did stamp those in intense black. So it's just a way to not waste any um, paper. I'm kind of thinking that I want to put my journaling, I'm going to make a tag and put it behind this photo. So I probably will foam tape this photo up a little bit. Um, so it'll just stand up just slightly over these, over the top of these ones. And then I took some stickers off the sticker sheet and I wanna go ahead and incorporate um, some of those. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use these. Leaves are fall falling, autumn is calling. So this is going to be my title. And I'm gonna put it like right about here. And then I'm gonna bring that um, wreath that I had cut out of that stamp set. I'm gonna bring that in back here, okay? I like that. And I went ahead and I did um, color those pumpkins that I said that I was going to um, cut out in color. And I went ahead and I used my Spectrum Noir markers. 
And um, if you haven't used those tri-blend markers, oh my gosh, I love these. They There's three markers in one and they blend so nicely. So these are the colors that I use if you want to take a look at those. Um, and I kind of just blended them together. So like on my pumpkins, I used the burnt orange. I used the um, the light and the medium and um, kind of did a, an ombre effect. And then on my um, stem, I used the earth brown and the muted brown. And then on my leaves, I used the dull green. And I'm going to show you how I, I'm going to color one of these kind of to show you how I, I did that. Um, but this is the burnt orange. And then I made the scarlet color. And scarlet is made with um, the gold brown shades, the light, the burnt orange dark the dark red shades light, and then the burnt orange medium to get that dark color. And then I just, in this one I went ahead and I made these leaves um, green with brown, and I, I'm not sure if I love them, you know, because leaves are changing colors. There were definitely all different colors here, and they, they go. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them that way. I'm gonna add a little bit more brown into them, but that's what I got so far. Okay, and then this is just the dull green, uh, the same as this. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, so I'm thinking that I want to make a cluster here, an embellishment cluster. And I'd like to make one over here. Uh, I was kind of thinking that I wanted to put this down here because I'm thankful. And I pulled this cute little heart off the sticker sheet, truly. And truly thankful, truly thankful for my children, for my family. I thought that would go so super cute right there. And then we could kind of take that embellishment cluster like over this way. And I'm thinking that I would do like a pumpkin and then like another pumpkin. Um, one of those leaves. So I'll, I'll color that leaf and I'll bring in this little one too. Um, and we'll just kind of tuck these in and, and bring this up here and we'll bring one of these up here. I'll do this one and bring in one of these. We'll do it underneath. Cute. Very cute. Again, I'm questioning whether I want to make this like a little more brown. Um... And then I'm going to bring, I want to build another, so let's just play with this for a minute. Nope, I like it over here. I'm going to bring in another embellishment cluster here. So I'm going to bring in these pumpkins. Um, they're so cute. I love those. They came out so nicely. Um, and then I'll kind of tuck. And then we'll... We will bring this one over here and then maybe bring this one here. Play with it like that. Well, I'll keep playing with this. Um, I think it needs a little something more. I got like two ideas. Um, I'm going to bring in this, this, it looks like a, like this tab that kind of looks like another tag. I want to bring this red over here. So I'm going to take it from here. It's over here and then down here. So I'm just kind of repeating those colors to give it like a little more of an all around. I want to draw my eye from here and draw it completely across the page. So, and that helps when you, when you kind of bring the colors across. Um, so I'm thinking about that tag here. And I'm going to keep my, I'm going to put my uh, journaling there about um, when we did these photos and a little bit about the kids at that time. Um, I'm thinking that I, I love, see how the sunflowers are here and this was fall and it was beautiful. So there's this Gnomes for Autumn scrapbooking that goes with this paper collection with these beautiful titles and you get another pumpkin, but you have these sunflowers. So, and they, those are a, a die cut. So I'm going to probably cut those sunflowers out and 
um, figure out how to color them. I'm thinking, so if I bring in the yellow, that draws in the yellow, and then I can bring that across my page. So I was kind of thinking I'd like to bring it in like three spots. I did want to show you on the back of this photo when I put my foam tape, I created kind of a stopper. So I cut this tag um, out with a Scarlet cardstock, and this will create a stopper here when it slides in and out so it doesn't go all the way down. And I created that tag with the uh, buildable tags, thin cuts, and I used this one. And I used the, um, the reinforcer here. I Look at that cute pattern. So I brought in the sticker sheet and they had this banner right here that had this cute little um, pattern. And so I just cut those out of that. And when you, you, when you, when you, before you put this down, make sure you take your anti-static pouch and really get the sticker off of the sticky off of the sides and the top and even the bottom because you don't want anything sticking to that in your layout or you don't want your tag sticking to it. So I, I do that and I haven't peeled it off yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. I just took it off the sides and then I'm going to put this up here and the, I wanted to bring in this this red over here because I'm going to bring in this one over here, this little one here. I'm going to slide it under and glue that down there. So I thought that that would be fun. And then I did, I'm going to show you this still, but I did cut these sunflowers out and I used these markers, the gold yellow blend, the light yellow blend, the earth brown blend. So I used those and I did change this as well. I just couldn't do those green and brown. Um, even though it fit, it matched, I just didn't like it. So I just kind of put, I wanted to add a little bit more of this brown color in. So I did use the muted um, brown marker there. So I pulled out the um, April and June mix-in paper and there was this like burlap and like this wood grain paper that's kind of like really washed out. And I really liked that. So. I just went ahead and I cut two circles from there and I thought that the the burlap looks great and so doesn't this one. This one's a little more subtle um, because it kind of gets a little bit lost but that's okay because there's a little bit of dement, a uh, little bit of detail so my stuff doesn't just sit right here. It sits on something different. I got everything glued down. I went ahead and used the burlap side of that circle on this side. And on this one, I did the wood grain looking one. And the way I tied it in was I just cut another small wood um, grain one and I stuck it um, in back here underneath this and in here just to kind of tie it all in. Um, I, I just like the way the wood one looked better on this one. And I like the way the, the burlap looked behind this one. So that's how I pull it all in and then I cut some this is like some jute twine that was in my stash I just cut that put a little bow stuck it there with a glue dot and put the other one here and my journaling spot is ready to go I will probably cut my plastic sleeve from here to here when I put this in my memory protector so that way there this just glides in and out and I don't have to take it out of the sleeve it'll just be interactive so I do want to pull in these cozy dots um, I think these are so pretty and they just totally match this like perfectly. So I'm going to pull in a couple of these and I will leave all the supplies that I'm using, the paper, the stamps, the thin cuts and everything. I'll leave it in the description of this video. I will put the links down there and it will go straight to my website. Um, so let's go ahead and let's pull in a couple of these. I like that. And I'm going to pull in um, probably this one. No, I will pull in, I think I'm just going to pull in this red one. No, I love how I can like put these back up if I want. <laughs> I'm gonna pull in, um, I'm gonna pull in these. So I'm gonna pull in this, and then I'm gonna pull in this big heart right here. Actually, I'll do that. And then I will pull in this, this one right here. 
And then I'm going to bring some over here. Um, actually, I think that I will mix those colors up so they um, they go nicely with all of the stuff. So. No, I don't like it. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use these red. So I'll do this and I'll put this little one over here and I'm going to take these off and put them, put the red ones there. Yeah, I like that red one, that's pretty. So then I will just add these smaller ones here. And then I think I wanna bring in like two up here. So I'll just go ahead and bring in one of these hearts right here, put this little hair on there. So bring this one in here pretty and I will bring in um, how cute would this be up here right here next to this that's super cute oh that's adorable okay so then I want to switch one of these out for a heart so I'm gonna do this one here And then I'll bring this here and this one, six, nine. That's what I'm going to do right there. Yeah, I like that. I think that came out really pretty. So let me give you a closer look. So this is the um, little embellishment cluster that we did. And we have our interactive um, journaling thing. And here's our title. So yeah, I'm gonna call this done. I hope you enjoyed this process video. Till next time.